Americans headed to the polls on Tuesday to choose either incumbent Donald Trump or challenger Joe Biden as their next president. After a tumultuous four years that have left the country as deeply divided as at any time in recent history. Residents in a predominantly African-American neighborhood in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, lined up early. For this voter, the choice was clear. She's going with Biden. I believe that they're going to get things done. I believe they're going to spend the money to upgrade my neighborhood, to make my life, my kids' life, their kids' life better than it was. In Miami, Floridians in a largely Latino suburb turned out to vote before dawn. I voted for the greatest president in history, Donald J. Trump. It's incredible what this man has done in four years. Tuesday capped weeks of historic early voting that saw nearly 100 million people cast ballots by mail and in person amid a deadly pandemic. Experts predict the vote could reach 160 million, far exceeding the 138 million ballots cast four years ago. Democratic challenger Joe Biden began Election Day by making a brief stop at St. Joseph's Church in Wilmington, Delaware, with his family. Biden is heading to Scranton, Pennsylvania, his childhood home, and Philadelphia. President Trump will spend much of Tuesday at the White House, where a non-scalable fence was erected around the perimeter. Meanwhile, inside, an election night party is planned in the East Room on Tuesday for 400 guests, all of whom will be tested for COVID-19. After a frenetic final day of campaigning, the president appeared on Fox News Tuesday morning, saying the crowds he saw gave him confidence that he would prevail. Biden has been leading consistently in national polls. Let's get this vote out. Despite that, the race in swing states is seen as close enough that Trump could still piece together the 270 electoral college votes needed to win a second term. Control of the House and Senate are also hanging in the balance, with Democrats' favor to take both. However, it may be days or weeks before results are known, as some states do not start counting mail-in ballots until polls are closed.